Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into Dogecoin. So we can start here straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin because we are having right now a sell signal in the four hour time frame. We were quite overbought and also we had here a bearish divergence in the four hour time frame. So we had a lower high in the RSI and we had a higher high in the price action between this high here and this one that we had currently at around $59,300. So this pullback was expected and now we're gonna have to see if we are able to maintain this support here at around $57,000. $500 or not because if we're gonna lose here this support from this bearish pattern that we have currently this rising wedge then the likelihood that we're gonna see one more less leg down towards 50k in my opinion is about to come but if here we are getting successfully a bounce and can finally test and break this $61,000 level the actual resistance level of this rising wedge and of course also the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement after this bigger correction that we had after reaching 65k we could then potentially head again towards new all-time highs if we are able to take out this resistance up here because in that case we are out of the woods then and also we would start again to trade above the Keltner channels because so far the top of the Keltner channel is still acting as a resistance. As you can see every time we're coming to the top of the Keltner channels we are getting rejected so as long as we are not able to bring the price again above 61k and then of course also start to close 4 hour and daily candles above this important price level we could still get one more last leg down towards 50k maybe even lower before we definitely can say that the bottom is in and that we are heading again towards new all-time highs so here in the four hour time frame we are still in an uptrend even though we are getting here a sell signal we are still above the important moving average here the 200 moving average at $57,000 so we shouldn't start to close four hour candles below 57k because in that case the likelihood that here we will break out to the downside and the target here of this rising wedge if we're gonna see a bearish breakout is at around 49 to 50k there maybe we could create a double bottom if we're not going lower than these lows that we had here at around 47k and then of course continue to head higher. So watch out for this breakout out of this rising wedge. If this breakout is going to be to the downside, you of course can also short Bitcoin over on Bybit or Femex. If you still need an account over on Bybit or Femex, use my referral links down below here in the video description because you will get some extra money and of course you also support the channel. And at the other hand, if we're gonna see here a bullish breakout, if we are able to break above $61,000 and start to consolidate again here above 61k create a support then in my opinion we will see big explosive moves to the upside towards new all-time highs and also the measurement here of this potential target here if we're gonna see a breakout to the upside would bring us towards seventy thousand dollars so towards this resistance trend line that we had here from this old rising wedge which we already broke out to the downside but if we're able to push higher back into this rising wedge then the potential next resistance would be up here at around seventy thousand dollars so the chances are of course here that we could also see a nice breakout here to the upside since we are still in our bull market but the lower time frames are suggesting here that we could potentially get one more last leg down before we definitely bottom out here and then hopefully have a big bounce here and continue our bull market so even though we could have here one less leg down to the downside and you don't want to short Bitcoin then just wait until we're getting another nice buy signal if we're getting here a nice double bottom formation here in the daily time frame you can see that we're still in an uptrend we're still above all the moving averages and also above the EMA ribbons but also here in the daily time frame we shouldn't close the candles below 57k this is going to be very important because in that case it's very likely that we gonna have this play out of this rising wedge and in that case then we're gonna have to wait until we're gonna create a potential double bottom formation or if here we're getting another nice buy signal like we had here at forty eight thousand dollars
So even though we are still in this bearish pattern, in this big rising wedge, I think there is still a high chance that we could even break out here to the upside since Bitcoin is looking extremely bullish and the bull run is not over yet. So that's why the best thing to do right now is just to wait here for a breakout as soon as we have some four hour closes below the support or above the resistance, especially above this resistance here of $61,000. Then we can put in a trade over on Bybit and Femex and trade it with a long position or with a short position because a big move will come once we're gonna break out out of this rising wedge. So what we have to do right now is just to wait and see where this breakout is going to happen. And if we switch over now into the Ethereum chart, you can see that also here we had a similar pattern. We had here this rising wedge and Ethereum broke out to the upside. So maybe this could be a leading indicator for Bitcoin that also on Bitcoin we are about to break out to the upside that of course would be very bullish. But I definitely wouldn't put in a trade right now just because Ethereum is already starting to break out to the upside here out of this rising wedge. I would wait until also for Bitcoin we have a clear breakout and then put in a trade. So right now in Bitcoin in my opinion we just have to wait. But here for Ethereum, we already had here a bullish breakout to the upside and we are approaching here the next Fibonacci extension levels here the 3.618 at $4,100. So there is a very high chance that we could reach this price target before we're gonna get another pullback because uh, in my own indicator, you can see that we're getting right now a sell signal in the four hour time frame since we are also extremely overbought. So a pullback is potentially about to come. And in that case, if here we're gonna see another bigger pullback after reaching $4,100, then watch out for the previous resistance area here at around $3,500. This is also where exactly right now the nine daily moving average is lining up right here at $3,500. So in my opinion, it's very likely that if that sell signal in the four hour time frame is getting confirmed, that we could come down to retest this $3,500 before we continue to head higher. Because the chart here for Ethereum is still looking extremely bullish. And as long as the Bitcoin dominance is below the 50 level and still dropping, I expect that Ethereum will continue to outperform Bitcoin here in the next coming days and weeks. And that of course could be a leading indicator where also Bitcoin is heading to next. So Ethereum is still looking extremely bullish. We have positive money flow here. The charts are looking extremely bullish in all time frames. We are trading above all the important moving averages. But a potential retest of this 3K area, maybe three and a half thousand dollars could be in the cards here in the next coming hours and days because we are approaching this potential resistance here at around $4,100 and we are also very overbought in the lower time frames. So a pullback is possible here down towards $3,500. In the worst case scenario, maybe even down towards 3K where also the 20 daily moving average is coming along. So watch out for those levels if you want to buy some more Ethereum if we are getting here a pullback. Because afterwards I'm expecting then big continuations to the upside. I still remain with my bullish target for 8k for Ethereum here for the next coming weeks and months. So until then, in my opinion, it's a good idea to just buy every pullback on the way to the upside because here for Ethereum, we're still looking extremely good. And now let's have a look also into Dogecoin because uh, I told you that in the four hour time frame we had here this bearish pattern. We had this descending triangle which initially broke out to the upside but this ended up to be a fake out. And as you can see right now this bearish pattern is playing out. And I told you that if you want to buy and invest into a meme coin, into a coin that has completely no use case, then wait until we're gonna retest again the bottom of the EMA ribbons, which currently right now are at around 30 cents because we had here a huge bearish divergence. We had in the RSI a lower high and in the price action we had a higher high. And this price action that we are seeing right now is very similar to this last pump that we have seen. After these two tops, you can see that we started this huge consolidation phase down to the bottom of the EMA ribbons here in the daily time frame. Until then we had another big push to the upside, which brought us now to these price levels here way above 50 cents. 
So if you want to buy some Dogecoin, then wait until we're gonna start to consolidate again and hopefully bounce again at the bottom of the EMA ribbons in the daily time frame, because then the chances are very high that we're gonna repeat something similar like here. And of course, if we would somehow start to close daily candles again below the EMA ribbons and even worse below the 200 daily moving average here at seven cents, then be prepared that we could have a complete retracement back down to the levels where we were in the last couple of years. So below one cent. So if you think that Dogecoin will go over one dollar here in the not so distant future, then wait until we're gonna retrace back down towards 30 cents and buy here right at the bottom of the EMA ribbons. That should be a good buy opportunity if of course we're gonna repeat something similar what we have seen here with this last couple of pushes to the upside. But as I also told you many videos already, my friends, I don't recommend you to buy Dogecoin. If you already are holding some, then congratulations but make always sure to take some gains out because this thing can revert very, very quickly. So as long as we're trading below the EMA ribbons here in the daily time frame, I still think that we could see continuation to the upside to potentially reach $1 and maybe even go higher. But as soon as we are starting to close daily candles below the EMA ribbon and even worse below the 200 daily moving average, I think that will be then a huge warning sign that you should get out of this as soon as possible but as long as we are still consolidating here above the EMA ribbons in the daily time frame I think this mania can still continue to weigh higher levels before we're gonna find here a cycle top as well all right my friends and with that said they're gonna wrap it up for now a big shout out goes out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join our discord community make sure to use my invitation link that you find here in the description once you have clicked on this link go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot like this you have free access to the trading chat and if you also want to get my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin and then you have to contact me here because a small donation is needed in order to get access to this indicator otherwise just get here a YouTube membership like this you have access to the live stream here on the YouTube which is also showing you those buy and sell signals 24 7 and if you don't want to trade your own with leverage over on Bybit and Femex, then try out Bitscap because on Bitscap you have a all in one platform where you can connect all your exchanges to one place. And like this, you can run trading bots on them and of course also do arbitrage. So as you can see, my trading bots are very profitable. You can easily set up those trading bots on your exchanges. A tutorial video is also popping up at the end of this video, so make sure to check it out and Bitscap is offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free so check it out if after 14 days it's paying out for you you can upgrade to a monthly plan which is only starting by $19 a month so usually you should get this money very very easily and quickly back so thank you again very much for watching my friends don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos have a great sunday and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye